All right, here we are back at our game of Kaisen. Okay, okay so cool. So we're continuing on our goal of talking to all of our friends. Once we've, you know, it's been a couple years and we're back in Kirkwall. We live in Hightown. We have to go check in with all our buddies because everybody has been kind of doing their own thing for a little while. They probably get together like at the Hanged Man, which is that cool bar, and they have some drinks. But for the most part, things have been so quiet since the Deep Roads expedition that there hasn't been a lot going on for them. So they need to check in with each other and just... So here we are in Anders clinic, because remember he's a healer and a mage. And that will, uh, stop the itch. Yes. Though I would stay away from women you meet in the port. Pirates tend to dock in unsavory places. I heard that. Just use the salve when it comes back. Uh, excuse me. Things just keep getting worse. I had Templars practically on my doorstep the other night. Oh yeah, the Templars are after him because he is a secret mage. Ooh, so here's a place where you can flirt with Anders. And he's fun to flirt with, but he's not our goal right now, so I'm not going to flirt with him. Plus, you're a lesbian, so... <laughs> the are hunting you. I won't torture you like that. Not me, specifically. They were just checking the refugee camps. But it's not like this place is a secret. It's only a matter of time. And that wasn't a great joke, sorry, Dustin. <laughs> That one time that I joked like, oh, but I'm bisexual, so. And then you were like, oh, that doesn't mean that I can't, like, read a story about, like, a het couple or a het pairing. Like, oh, okay, of course. <laughs> we haven't talked much recently. How do you mean? What's up? I just love what my commander Meredith's done with the place. He's kind of like a dog with a bone. The midnight raids on Major's Mondays. Anyone I know forced into hiding so they won't be made tranquil. And that's another flirt. <laughs> Is that making it hard for me? With justice. In the fade, there is no time. Emotion rules everything. Justice doesn't know how to sit idle until the right moment to strike. And I can't say I have any greater patience. I fear what my anger has made of my friend. Ooh, that would be mean. And also not true. You chose to murder me. Only you can make it work. I am trying. I have not attacked the Templars openly. I've held the mages here as best I can. But this impasse cannot last. Something's gonna you happen. As much risk as I am. That's what I worry. What if your money and position aren't enough? Oh. What if the Knight Commander turns on you? He's a really good friend. Everything I've done to control this. I don't care. I would drown us in blood to keep you safe. Whoa. Oh my gosh, I have to say something flirty or I have to be mean. And I'm not gonna be mean, so I'm gonna say this, okay? I hope you're cool with that. I don't want to see you lose yourself. This can be friendship. How much is left if you strip both those out? Aww. I'm sorry. I can't be anyone but who I am. Hey, be who you be. There will be more violence. I know that. If you tie yourself to me, I'll only hurt you. Okay, now I have to actually break his heart. You know? I want to be a good friend, but I'm not going to date him. You're getting in too deep here. And I can't follow. Ooh. It's better this way. Oh. Oh. So, look, we're still friends. Friendship 15. So the thing about Anders, Dustin, and I've told you this on our hikes, is that he's, like, intensely romantic and very intense in his, like, feelings. Okay. 
So that's just how he is. And he's the kind of person who, like, in real life would be on your first or second date being like, are we boyfriend now? Are we boyfriend and girlfriend or whatever? Am I your boyfriend? Because he wants to, like, have that connection to somebody and he likes to have... He, he likes to be certain of his, like, his status with people. You know, if he, if he likes someone, he's not gonna, like, flirt with them for years and then, I don't know, eventually. You know, he's much more... Yeah. Anyway, and he has a lot of intense emotional things. <laughs> the, the deer. So, um... Dang. Anyway. Oh shit, I was gonna tell you something else. Um, also as a reminder, like, Justice is a spirit from the Fade, and this guy's just like a merchant of some kind. So. Oh, me. Hello. They're flirting. Ooh, burn. You remember that having a large number of men under you. Oh, snap, Aveline. You've been waiting to use that one. Did you practice? Shut up. Alright. So, Justice is a spirit from the Fade, and the Fade is, you know, that other sort of dimension layered behind this one, where um, demons and spirits come from, and that's where they live. And if you're a mage, you have access to the Fade, but if you're a non-mage, you, everybody but dwarves basically goes to the Fade in their dreams, like when they sleep, but they can't, like, interact with it at all unless they're a mage. And if you're a mage, then you can interact with the Fade, you can be awake there. And Anders, um, in his past he, like, met Justice in the Fade, and Justice, or Justice was in another body, I'm not sure, but Justice was going to die, basically, unless Anders, like, shared his body with him. So then Justice um, is, like, inside Anders. And um, in the Fade, there's, like, spirits and demons, but they're all really the same type of creature. It's just that demons are called demons because they're based on things humans think are bad, like lust or, like, actually it's desire, not lust, or pride or sloth or whatever. And then spirits are called spirits because they're based on things humans think are good, like justice, or I guess there's probably others that are like fucking, I don't know, something nice. I really can't think of anything right now. So, um, anyway, so that's what, that's what justice is. And Anders feels bad because justice is normally like a pure thing. But he told us that he, like, has so much anger about Templars and mages that he, like, feels like he's corrupted Justice and then Justice turned into, like, vengeance. I mean, we, he still calls him Justice, but he feels like he, like, that if you take, if you take, like, a spirit like Justice or if you take a sense of Justice and then you combine it with anger, then you get vengeance. Which makes sense, right? Who else do I have to visit? Oh, I have to go talk to Isabella and Varric there at the bar, as usual. <sighs> anyway, so yeah, that's that. With Anders. We had to break his heart eventually, because he was going to keep asking, you know? Isabella, you look well. Are you talking about the flush on my cheeks? It must be the whiskey. Do you remember the relic I told you about? The one I need to find. I've been following the lead. I'm so close I can taste it. Search for this thing has consumed you. Let it go. I just thought I'd let you know that I may soon be taking you up on that offer of help. Oh, we can flirt with Isabella. We can flirt with anybody that we want to before, like, the final whatever. And... Usually your love interest, I mean, you'll see eventually, but they'll be like, if you're, if you're talking to them romantically near the end of the romantic arc, they'll be like, or somewhere in the middle, they'll be like, well, what about so-and-so? You were flirting with them. And then you can say, no, but I choose you. So why don't we just flirt with Isabella a little? Because she likes flirting. It's kind of like a fun thing. And then you'll be able to, like, see more dialogue options later, because you'll have extra dialogue options when we're doing the romance scenes. 
How's that sound? And if you want me to stop, you can let me know in the comments or in the other thing, okay? Do I get a kiss from the fast tantrums when I present her with the hard won prize? <laughs> if you want, I'll even let you choose where I plant it. <laughs> She's very clever with her flirts. And she orders some more whiskey. And look, friendship goes up, which is good because we need her friendship. We need everyone's You're friendship. Talented, Meryl. Ooh. I see you meant for great things. Madeline's complimenting Meryl. But she's stupid. <gasps> I'm sorry, what? That's cute. Don't you think it would be better to work on where you are now? Instead of recreating old glory. No, no, that's kind of the opposite of what I was saying. I'm the stupid one. Whatever. Whatever. I like the way she says whatever. Um so Meryl's arc so far is that she remember she was going to be the keeper. After Keeper Marathari, she was like the Keeper's first. And so, um, the Keeper's kind of like the one who keeps all of the... So they're called the Keeper, because they keep like the lore alive, and they keep like certain magics alive that the, the Dalish may lose otherwise. Because the Dalish are elves who don't... The Dalish, remember, are elves who don't live in cities with humans. They are like nomadic, because a long time ago in the fall of Arlathan, they're... Their home got destroyed, you know, and the humans enslaved a whole bunch of them. And, um, anyway, and so then after that they didn't have a home, so that's why the, the Dalish elves are nomadic. But their name stems from the place where they used to live, which is called the Dales. So they're called Dalish because they still live in that manor, but they're nomadic. So they're not like the elves of, of um, the past, of course, but they're kind of based on that. Anyway, and then Meryl had to leave. The Keeper asked, you know, asked for us to take her with us because Meryl wanted to leave. She has some, like, goals and things that are not exactly approved of by Keeper Barathari. So the Keeper was like, was like, if you, if you really have to do these things, then I can't help you. You're going to have to leave and seek your own path. So that's what she did. And that's how she came to be fighting bandits with us. Just tell me if you hear more rumblings from the coterie about protection. Blondie's got enough trouble. Ooh. Blondie is Anders, by the way. That's Varric's nickname for him. Hawk. You made it into Hightown. I'd expect anyone else to get complacent, but you, you must have plans. Hmm. I don't, I don't know if Kyson would want any of these things. I think Kyson's taking care of her family. No plans yet. I'm simply trying to look out for my mother. I suppose after the whole business with Carter, it's a good idea to hang on to what you've got. Aww. To be honest, Carver. I thought there might be a chance you'd want to go back to Pharrell, but now that things have calmed down, it's good to hear you're sticking around. Well, of course. Sometimes Varric likes it if you, like, say the snarky, jokey things, you know? But I like this little angel wing thing, and also I like Tyson's, like, general tone, so I'm going to stick with that for now. Cut me, please. Oh, goodness. If nothing else, you give this town respectability, my friend. So, we've got a whole city state full of trouble to get into. Shall we get started? I feel like Tyson... I feel like Kaisen is totally one of those, like, protagonist types who's always, like, making a fist and saying, Never give up! Or, like, we can do it! You know? She's, like, obnoxiously optimistic and has a little bit of a hero complex. Okay, do I have any more friends I need to talk to? No. Talk to Meryl. I talked to Aveline. Oh, I haven't talked to Fenris! Who I've just finished my own game of romancing him. He's he is really nice when you romance him. He's like um like a candy that like a lollipop that has a squishy chewy center. 
Anyway, we won't be fighting with him much because Aveline's our warrior. But if I come across missions where we cannot take Aveline because of morals, we'll probably take Fenris. Hello. So the Seneschal's tax collector won't be coming around again like you asked. Funny story. <laughs> I'll pass, but thank you for the help. Spoil sport. Why you want to sport up here in Hightown is beyond me. I like the view. So do I. Isabella flirts with everybody. Three years. Oh, it's been three years. Still no sign of Daenerys. Daenerys is... to wonder if he's finally given up. Daenerys is Fenris' old slave master guy. Owner thing. You know? This is his mansion, isn't it? He must know you're here. Would you be surprised to learn that it isn't, in fact, his mansion? It belongs to a Tevinter merchant. One who has evidently given up on the place. Perhaps he is dead. Perhaps Daenerys killed him. Either way, like Daenerys feathers. is aware of my presence. He has done nothing. So, hopefully he has, is answering the previous thing. Hopefully he has given up. Isn't this what you want? <sighs> yes, but... Tell me, what do you do when you stop running? You could just keep running forever. <laughs> kind of torn between these two. Because this seems a little too cheesy. Kaisen might be kind of cheesy though. I mean, I've already asked them all before, so. Let's see this one. Do you really not know? Oh, that was condescending. My first memory is receiving these markings. The lyrium being branded into my flesh. The agony wiped away everything. Whatever life I had before I became a slave, it's lost. Too sad. I shouldn't trouble you with this. My problems are not yours. And <laughs> I could flirt with him. I'm not gonna. I like this one. This one's too... You know. Your problems are my problems. Unlucky you. I like being a good friend. enough. You have much to keep you busy, upset. Friendship! Yay! That was fun. Alright! Adventure! I'm gonna click on the door from here. I don't think I'm at the right angle. That's okay. Da, da, da. I figured out how to use like the WASD keys. I haven't been using them before now. Because I don't know. So that's everyone. We've talked to everyone. So now we can get started on our quests. You know? We've got some quests we picked up from letters. Like the Underground Railroad and Night Terrors. Prime Suspect. Anyway, those are quests that we can do first. Because they're just little ones. So let's go down to the docks. Out on the boardwalk. Do you know that old song? We'll be something else. Out on the boardwalk. We'll be falling in love. Out on the boardwalk. The boardwalk. Near, 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 near. There's a guy here I can talk to, a Kunari. You are a hawk, a patrolman missing along the wounded coast. Yeah. The Ereshot says you have some semblance of honor. <laughs> right. So tell me, did you kill them? Nope. I don't know what you're talking about. I believe you. That's the nice thing about Kunari. You're not responsible. I waste my time here. But they, um, they're very, like, honest and honorable, so they do believe you when you talk, you know? So yeah, just as a reminder, the Kunari who live in this compound, 
they showed up at around the same time that we all did. Like, you know, the refugees and all that. And their, like, their ship crashed or something. They're just waiting for that. They're waiting for something to be resolved like that before they can leave. And so the air shock and the other canary live here. The Viscount what gave them this little spot to stay. And in the first, in Act 1, we did a quest where there was, I can't even remember right now. Maybe it's in here. Black Powder Promise. So we, Javaris was a dwarf, he asked us to help him um, get rid of the Talpashoth because he wanted to get this exploding powder from the Arashok, who is the leader of the Kunari, the tall horned buff people. So, so we didn't really want to help Javaris, but we ended up helping him anyway because you know, we just had to. So then the Aeroshock was like, this is stupid because Javaris didn't even, I didn't ask him to do this. He just did it expecting that he would get a reward. And so then the Aeroshock was impressed by um, Kaisen and our group because we, you know, we were like honest with him and it, it, he recognized that it wasn't really our fault that Javaris was a big lying sack of farts. So, that's good. Anyway. So, here's the docks, and the docks are kind of like... long and stretchy. We can go all the way down here. There's a bunch of warehouses. Bunch of people walking by. What was my name? I've never heard of a game that was no more. I don't imagine you'll be able to travel between islands much. But really, I wouldn't start waterproofing your wagons then. I don't think the Marin is ready for the Dalish. What do you mean? Would we have set the people there? It's not the kind of place where one turns down a tumble. You even refuse a fortune teller and they run your lot out of town. Hmm. I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know you, you don't know me. What? So like Lomarin is a place they were talking about. I don't really know or care any more than that. What do you need, love? Happy to delivery. So this lady um, oh. I got a letter from some large friends. I see, I see. Check the back of the board for our special rates. I try to talk to her. Helping the apostates is dangerous. If the temple has caught you, one of my sisters is a mage, a gentle child, so generous. Dang, she's great. She was made tranquil last year. Templars claimed she was a danger. Oh. Now, it's like she's not there. I shouldn't be forced on anyone. That makes sense. I won't stand by it while mages suffer. Bless you, love. The board is all the details. Should you take care of something, just drop by. So, this set of quests is just something where you can do little extra things to help mages, and I love doing that shit. Search and rescue. So, we just have to go rescue... somebody. Somebody on the Wounded Coast. Probably from Starkhaven, which is another town. Starkhaven's where one of the Circle of Mages is. So Starkhaven, Kirkwall, and Ferelden, and those are the ones I know about. I don't know for sure if Starkhaven is in Orlay, but I know there's a Circle of Mages in Orlay, because Orlay is definitely part of the group of Templari, Andraste, uh, places. With the maker, you know, and all that shit. Okay, so here's another one. How to frame a Templar. So a bunch of apostates have been captured by 
Sir Conrad um, Bernhardt, and he sucks a lot. So we're going to get rid of him, and we're going to... It says the Templars are watching their own, and so we can... We can defame Sir Conrad by using this other guy, Sir Roderick. You know? And we can um, frame Sir Conrad to get rid of him because he's a real big douche. So we're gonna do those quests for sure. Over here, there's a merchant. And I love merchants because of their weapons. We can check them against like this. We should buy that. I'm not gonna give anyone a hammer because I don't have junk. That's where anything came from. I don't have anyone who needs to use a hammer. Anyway, so since we're doing videos, Dustin. I think, I'm, I don't think you're going to miss out on anything when I say this, okay? So don't worry. But, ooh. Okay. But I think that what I'm going to do is at the end of this video, and then once more at the end of part two, I'm going to go around to the merchants and buy all my favorite armor. Okay? So that way we have yes. pretty good... Wasn't it? Keep walking, walk. That way we have, um, uh, that way we have all the good armor and weapons, and you don't have to watch me, like, walk around to all of the boring merchants, because that's, I like doing it, but I don't think you would enjoy much watching me do that. So why don't we, we have about two minutes left on the, the ticker, so why don't we... Why don't we pick a quest to do for next time, okay? We're not going to do this one because I hate doing it. Although maybe if I find the magic and I use its power, maybe Meryl will think that's cool. So I don't know. I'll Google that, okay? We're going to do one of these things, either search and rescue or how to frame a Templar next time, okay? So that's what you have to look forward to. like slandering Sir Conrad. Anyway, so we'll do one of those, okay? And that will be what we do next time, okay? Alright, so I'm off to buy some weapons and armor and and upload the video. So, I'm stretching. Stretch. Okay, so keep watching at your leisure or leisure and um, anyway, I hope you're having fun. If you're not, let me know what I can do to change the experience. Also, Pop says hello. He's right here. And he says hello. Alright, see you next time.